Greetings. I, Jay Oberoi, on the behalf of Vishwa Samaj Education Foundation and NIMC Jay, would like to welcome you to the new episode of Achhi Khabar. Let's move towards the headlines. The craze over the world's smallest cow grew in Bangladesh. The Bhutanese breed cow is 23 month old, weighing 28 kgs. The cow is 51 cm tall, that is only 20 inches. The owner Hasan Holadar has named the cow Rani. Rani is half a meter, which is even less than a normal goat. Whereas the usual height of the cow is one meter or more than that, Holadar has also applied for the registration of Guinness Book of World Records as the shortest cow. People are so surprised that despite lockdown, there has been a total of more than fifteen thousand visitors. Holadar said that he has no intention of selling the cow. Moving on, Sanya Malhotra will be seen in the remake of the Telugu film named Hit. The pre-production work of the film is going on. Sanya Malhotra said that I have seen the hit film I have liked the concept of the film when I got the offer of the film I immediately agreed I am looking forward to work with Rajkumar hit is the story of a police officer who is on a hunt for a missing woman the film will be directed by Dr Shailesh Kolanu who directed the original film the original film featured Vishwa Sen and Ruhani Sharma in Hindi remakes of major south films now we'll see them in Telugu hit Moving on, economy recovering due to fiscal relief, rapid vaccination. The finance ministry on Friday said that the economy has started showing signs of revival from the impact of the second wave of the COVID-19 pandemic. On the back of the targeted fiscal relief, monetary policy, and the rapid vaccination drive, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman last month announced eight economic measures amounting to rupees six point two nine lakh crore to provide relief to individuals as well as the businesses in the country. Moving on. Uniform civil code is the need of the hour. Delhi High Court as well as the Supreme Court said that the central government should take necessary steps. Equal before the law and equal law for all is the basic requirement for a vibrant democracy. The existence of alternative arrangements in relation to marriage, divorce, division of property, etc., has not been a major challenge to the legal and judicial structure of the country for a long time. but it also hinders the effective implementations of man- many important provisions of the constitution moving on by the end of the century the union branches will be established from villages to villages the year 2025 will complete 100 years since the establishment of the rashtriya swayamsevak sangh the top leadership of the sangh is trying to reach the shakhas of the gram panchayat level even before the century ends Right now there is a preparation to connect all the sections by expanding the branches to the villages by giving a wider scope to the ideology of the sun operating up to the panchayat level now i would like my colleague yukta sharma to continue with our next segment thank you thank you jay let's move to the another section of news roadmen plans townships smart cities alongside highways says gadkari The Road Transport and Highways Ministry will seek the cabinet's approval for allowing construction of smart cities, townships, logistic parks and industrial clusters along the national highways, Union Minister Nitin Gadkari said. Gadkari also said his aim is to construct world-class highway networks and the Road Transport and Highway Ministry has choked out a plan for monetizing existing highways projects. for infra capital generations and now we have prepared a cabinet note for approval for making roadside townships smart cities logistic clusters industrial clusters he said adding we are making 400 roadside amenities moving on to the next news madhya pradesh will raise the light of saving tigers in 17 states madhya pradesh which is recognized ro- nationwide as a tiger state will now explain the importance of tiger in nature to the people of 17 states it will also appeal for the protection of tigers for this t-shirts with prints of tigers deer and other wildlife animals in 17 states including madhya pradesh will be distributed to the villagers living in the general forest and around the protected areas this t-shirts will be produced by school children in each state which will be printed under the tiger sakha competition its purpose is to make children aware about the 
conservation of wildlife. Under the society pins, t-shirts from school children and the forest department will also reward the children for this. Moving on to the next news, acting not limited to star power says Mani Ratnam. The digital platform will also attract big filmmakers. There is a discipline in the film industry, talk if Guru, Satya, Ravan are yet to come, which will come soon because of this platform. It is no longer the case that large-scale films will come only in theatres. Digital is also bringing content in a big way. Although, I would like to see myself in a movie theatre, if I think like an audience. The kind of content that the film is watching now believes Mani Ratnam. There is freedom to build audience expectations over time. According to Mani Ratnam, director of films like this, the way digital platform have attracted people's attention since last year, it will increase discipline in this, in this field. Moving on to the next news, world's deepest swimming pool built in Dubai. The world's deepest swimming pool for underwater diving has opened in Dubai, where people can descend 60 meters to a sun can city, theme landscape and play arcade games. Dubai, a tourism and business hub with desert terrain and months of scorching summer temperatures has a reputation for flamboyant and record-breaking attractions such as its snow-filed indoor sky globe, large water parks and the world's tallest building. The pool, which holds the equivalent of six Olympic swimming pools, has been verified by Guinea's World Records as the world's deepest swimming pool for diving. Deep Dive Dubai says it is 15 meters deeper than any other. With this, I conclude the episode of Achhi Khabar. Please don't forget to share, like and subscribe to all our platforms. Thank you so much.